In the Hunger Games, she has suffering from post-traumatic stress. She's back living at Victor Village, kind of trying to find her way around District 12 now. And um, then she gets sent back to the arena. How dare they? I know. How dare they? I know. What do you love about playing her? Because there's not very many female roles like this, you know, in terms of they're either one thing or the other, but, but she's kind of got a bit of everything about her. Yeah, she does. I love playing her. She's so, she's fierce and she's, I can't believe I said fierce. Uh, I never thought I could. need to do that, fierce. On. Yeah, <laughs> I think she's totally fierce. Um, you know, she's a warrior and a fighter and she's also afraid. She's aware of the consequences of war. She's a, a good, She's a good uh, woman. <laughs> I love playing Katniss. Um, I heard as well that the, the set can be pretty fun and that you're normally at the center of starting that fun. Yeah, I don't know why I keep getting blamed for that. I think there's a lot of centers to that, but... <laughs> but I guess it's like that. When you are working with a cast over a number of films, you, you kind of need that. And, and I guess because it's so intense in terms of what's required of you physically and emotionally in these films, it's a, it's a nice retreat, I guess. Yeah, you got to keep it loose. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs> and you, there's a lot of people out there as well who are very envious of the fact that, you know, she's got two guys vying for her attention and stuff yes. uh, like that. It can be stressful. Really? Yes. Oh, it's, come on. It's not always a good thing. <laughs> and another great thing that we love about her is, is, is the outfits. That's, is that a fun side to it? You know, you, you, kind of, you look at poor, you know, Elizabeth in terms of yeah. what she's kind of sewn into. You kind of got it easy. Yeah, I know, but it really is incredible to see. We have such a talented costume designer and the things that she can create. Absolutely amazing. These guys are waiting to see this film. Uh, we want to ask you, first of all, what is the, the thing from this film that you're most proud of? Is there a scene that, that kind of sticks out in your mind in terms of that's probably the most memorable part of making this film for me? Or? Um, I, I think the most heartbreaking, the, the scene that kills me the most is when um, they take me away at the reaping and I'm not allowed to say goodbye to my family. I remember that on the day really getting me. Listen, enjoy your premiere tonight. It's great to chat to you. Um, Jennifer Lawrence, everyone. <laughs> Looking absolutely stunning. Jenna Malone, everyone. How does it feel stepping out the car to this tonight? Um, amazing. I've been a little under the weather all day and just instantly I felt 150% better. I was like, yes, yes, this is what we're doing. We're sharing it with the world tonight. Amazing. And I tell you what, you, what you, how you brought this character to life, huge congratulations. I'm one of the lucky few that's been able to see it. Um, she looked like she was a lot of fun to bring to life. Oh, she was a lot of fun and she was a lot of work. I mean... <laughs> oh, she's a piece of work. Yeah, she's a piece of work, for sure. It took me about two months to figure out how to actually dial her down at night. It was a... I had a couple rough sleeps the first month just carrying that amount of uh, violence in my body. But, um, no, she's amazing. I love her. Were you, was it a real kind of collaborative effort in terms of, you know, discussing how, how she would be brought to life, you know, with, with your director in terms of how you both saw her? Um, well, Francis is kind of the most amazing collaborator, uh, collab collaborator that I've ever worked with. And so on every level, we really did collaborate and figure out. But I mean, for me, Suzanne Collins wrote such an incredible novel um, of Catching Fire and then the whole series. There was so much to pull from, so were, were you amazing. Were you a fan of the books before you, you were involved in the film? Had you, had you read the books? Excuse me. Um, I know, I can talk for like three minutes and then I cough for a minute. It's great. Um, I was actually, yeah, my little sister who um, turned me on to the novels. I read all three novels before the audition um, in like 48 hours because I actually had my wisdom tooth out and I was like in bed sick. I was like, this is the perfect time. Um, so yeah, it was wonderful. And what about in terms of, of the cast? You know, this, there was a, there's a film already before in terms of coming into that. You, you obviously weren't the only ca new cast member in here and stuff, but it feels like a real team thing, you know, a real bonding environment. Is that, would that be true? Um, we all kind of fell madly in love with each other. It's an incredible cast helmed by the most sweetest, talented director, amazing producers. I mean, we were so fortunate on every level, you know? Listen, congratulations once again. It's great to chat to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy tonight. Thank you. Jenna Malone, everyone. Liam Hemsworth, everyone. Now, I heard that Gail was Suzanne Collins' favorite character. Is that true? I don't know if it was her favorite, but she said to me after the first, uh, the first movie that she, she wished there was more. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's probably the same for a lot of people here as well in Leicester Square. You've got a great response here tonight. He's a good guy. He's a good character. He's a noble guy. He's trying to, trying to protect Katniss. And, uh, 
Yeah, he's, 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 he's an admirable character. What is it about these films that you think that made those characters kind of instantly, instantly approachable and instantly likable for so many people? I think uh, that essentially they're good people going through a, a very tough situation, um, you know, and Katniss manages to, to stay herself through all these horrible situations and, um, you know, they're, they're, I think she's a really good role model for young people. And I guess as an actor, you, there's not many opportunities you get where you, you have a role and you have the opportunity to develop him and for him to grow over you know, a number of films. Is, is that a good thing for you? Yeah, absolutely. It's, 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 you, know, you, you get to know your character more and more and you have uh, a lot more time to show a lot more things. So it's, 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 it's something I haven't done before. What do you like most about him? He's, uh, he's very passionate. He cares about what he believes in. He cares about his people. He cares about his family. Um, you know, and he's, he's not afraid to stand up to it. And these, these films aren't afraid to kind of go deep and to go dark. And there's a particularly harrowing scene that involves yourself in, in the square um, of District 30. And what, what was that like to film? Um, what was the what? what was it like to film that the scene where you're you're being I'm getting you're whipped. Whipped, yeah. whipping scene? Yeah, it was terrific. And three days of getting whipped. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, it was. It was. Yeah. No, it was. It, it, it was a, somewhat of a soft object, a soft felt, but you know, you, you hit yourself with anything for three days, it starts to hurt. <laughs> you can tell as well that you guys, you know, not just yourself and Josh and Jennifer, have got a, a great chemistry and great rapport with you, but the whole cast. It's a real sort of family environment. It's, it's a mimic on set. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's one of the funnest sets I've ever worked on. From, from, you know, from Jennifer down, she kind of really sets the bar for everyone. And, uh, we all just become maniac on set. It's, it's, like, it's like being back in school or something. I heard she's a bad influence. She's a really bad influence. A really bad influence. <laughs> well, listen, go and enjoy tonight. It's great to chat to you. Thank you so much, Liam. Take care. Thank you. Liam Hemsworth, everyone. Oh, I am looking forward to this. Sam Claffin, how are you? A little bit overwhelmed by this tonight. What have you got yourself into, sir? I have no idea, but I can just say thank you, everyone. Every single one of you that's camped out overnight. Do you want a sugar cube? Yeah. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> Big pockets if you're in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Come see me later and I'll give you one. All right, cool. <laughs> well, I mean sugar cube. Yeah, 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 yeah. We oh, go. Yeah. You've been doing that all day. All day you have. Uh, it seems you've had so much fun and this has been a great experience for you being part of this because this is just a start you know you're you're already six weeks into the next one yeah the, i mean this uh, i mean i have to just say this has been an absolute pleasure to be a part of um you know being a, a, a big fan of the first film uh, being a big fan of the three novels uh, being a big fan of finnick odell i mean come on it's a, it's a dream come true really uh, and the guys Despite being very intimidated walking into this sort of family of, uh, you know, Hunger Games, not only fans, but cast, crew, uh, they, they, they were very welcoming. They, they embraced us and uh, us newcomers, sorry. <laughs> and, you know, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, you know, we see you as part of the 75th Hunger Games running through the jungle with the rest of them. However, you definitely got the short straw because you've got Lynn on your back most of the time as well. Well, I, di I did six months of practicing with my grandmother uh, before I actually walked into the audition room with my grandma on my back, uh, which I think Francis Lawrence really appreciated. Uh, I then offered him a sugar cube, and then I stripped down to nothing but a knot, covering my crotch. With a sugar cube? <laughs> with a sugar cube. And uh, yeah, <laughs> wait. <laughs> There's at least a packet of sugar cubes. Uh, yeah. There's a family audience here, Sam. Come on, come on. Um, Finnick, though, a great character to embody and to bring to life. He's a bit of a, you know, don't judge a book by its cover type thing, I would say, with, with, uh, with Finnick. You've taken the words right out. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, Finnick, Finnick is definitely, you know, a confident, charming, uh, sexually manipulative, I love that word, <laughs> uh, kind of guy. But beneath that exterior, beneath those layers, you know, is a very sensitive, loving, um, insecure, lost puppy, I guess you could say. And I, I think that was the thing that I really enjoyed playing, actually. Now, have they taken extra measures for the third film in terms of your uh, accident proneness? Because, <laughs> you know, I heard that you, you know, that you've got to watch out for you. Everyone's got to, there's got to be pads everywhere just in case. 
There, there were a few accidents on set. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Uh, I think between me and Jennifer, there was definitely a competition to see who could fall over the most. Uh, I think she may have taken the biscuit. Um, but no, I mean, it, it was, it, yeah, I mean, we, we had fun. And despite breaking a finger and nearly blinding myself, yeah, it was, it was a, a pleasure to be there. It's a dream. Well, it's an absolute pleasure of a film to watch. It really is incredible. I kind of screamed at the screen at the end going, no! Because you just <laughs> want the next one to start now. It's great to chat to you, Sam. Thank Congratulations you. on Finnick and bring them to life. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you. Now, what you guys haven't seen is Josh has been dancing his way around the red carpet. How are you? I'm good. I'm feeling dancey. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Every time I see you, you're having a little boogie. Oh, yeah, you know. yeah, we don't have any music now, but if we have music now. In our heads, we do. In our heads. I always have music in my head. <laughs> um, but I guess it's a sense of, of what this whole thing is, has been for you guys and is for you guys. It's such a happy experience, such a great experience. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, I totally. It's so hard to put into words, really. I mean, these press tours are such a, a grueling experience sometimes. And, and to come out here and see all of you guys supporting us like this, it really gives us the energy to come out and do these for different places. So I can't, we can't thank you enough. It's been incredible. Your support means the world to us. So thank you. Thank you. Does this, I mean, you were here with the first film and you saw the reaction that that got. This is, this is another level. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you feel that? Do you... Def definitely. I think that, you know, thankfully the, the first movie was well received and, and people were happy with it. And now they're ready for the next one and they're ravenous about it. And, and, they're, and they're, they have their appetites all, all ready to go. So it's, uh, it's definitely a very different energy this time. And as I was saying to Liam as well, to get the chance to play a character over a number of films and develop that, and, and for you particularly going into, after this film and going in the next level, that's a whole different ball game, isn't it, in terms of your character where, where Peter goes? Yeah, no, I mean, for me, when I first read the books, I, I, I fell in love with Peter's arc. I think that it, it's incredible. You see him go from this young boy who, who's baking bread and falling in love with this girl, and then now all of a sudden he's being strapped in and, and losing his mind and, and dealing with post-traumatic stress and being tortured by the government. So it, it is an amazing arc, and I can't wait to dive in. What do you love about him? Oof. Uh, I, love, I love so many things about Peter. I think he's uh, such a loyal person. I think he's very... Uh, Loyal to not only other people, but his own ideals and, and whatnot. And, and that's something that I strive to be like. So I definitely I admire him in a lot of ways. And in terms of the, the relationship that you guys all have, I mean, it, it feels like, I don't know, you look forward to going to work in the morning? Yeah. No, I hate it. I hate working on this movie. No, no, it's, it's really the best. I mean, the, this cast, as, as everybody's gotten to see, is, is incredible. Everybody. They, they, they're so supportive and, and fun, and there's no egos. Every day is just like, uh, it's a blast. The working part is actually very hard to do. Now, I was hearing that, that Jennifer likes to kind of, you know, pull a few pranks, but I heard from a very reliable source that you, in fact, sir, are at the center of those pranks. I, I don't want to divulge this kind of information because I want to remain under the radar. I can't, I can't tell people this. No one's watching, it's all right. Okay, yes, I'm at the center of everything. All the pranks are all my doing. <laughs> Uh, from this film, have you got a favourite moment? Have you got something that, you know, when you're talking about it, that's the thing that springs to mind in terms of the most memorable thing from it? Yeah, definitely. There's the, the scene when, when Katniss and Peeta are deciding whether or not to run off together and leave the allies, um, the, the pack rather, they, they had this scene together on the beach. And for me, we had a very long day before that, and, and we shot the scene at sunset with me and Jen. And, and Jen and I are so crazy together all the time that our energy levels were so low, we actually got to calm down and act a scene together, which was the first time it ever happened, I feel like. Um, normally, we're just looking at each other's eyes, trying not to laugh. So for me, it really felt like that was a very genuine, real moment between the two of us, and I, I'm very proud of it. I can't wait for these people to see this film. So exciting. So great to chat to you, Josh. Thank you so much. Take care. Enjoy tonight. Thank you very much. Josh Hutchison, everyone.